Buckle up, kids. We're going to Mars. Scientists predict we'll have the first human colony settled and terraforming the planet by 2035. Even if we survive the 229 million kilometer trip there, life's going to be pretty tough. The thin atmosphere would literally make your blood boil. Every joint in your body aches thanks to minus 62 degree temperature and the space-induced osteoporosis. You'd also only have a birthday party every two years. Not that it matters, there's no time to party. You're too busy melting ice caps, sowing crops and collecting samples. Make sure you regularly wipe down your inflatable habitat. That toxic red dust gets everywhere. But we already know the story. Hollywood's painted the picture over and over and over and over and over again. We're desperate to spread our human seed across the galaxy. We're also desperate to find a new home thanks to the impending doom that is climate change. We may be psyched about the possibility of calling the Red Planet home, but what about these guys? Could our companions make it to Mars? Actually, animals did space first. Dogs, cats and monkeys were the first real astronauts and much of what we know about the effects of space on the body is thanks to them. You may be familiar with the story of Dogonaut Laika. This brave mutt plucked from the streets of Moscow became the world's first living being to orbit the Earth in 1957. There was no plan to bring Laika back. Five hours into orbit, her spacecraft malfunctioned and Laika died from overheating, fear and stress. However, Laika's sacrifice had a significant impact on the potential for human space travel, and the Russians are extremely proud of her. Her image has been memorialized on postage stamps, cigarette boxes, tins, toys, and over 50 years after her voyage, a monument was erected in her honor. Sadly, Laika would have never understood what all the fuss was about. The USA preferred monkeys for their space tests because their physiology is similar to our own. The French launched the first and only cat, Lisette blasted 157 kilometers above Earth in 1963 and returned safely after spending several minutes in zero gravity. Three months later, she was euthanized. Launching an animal into space is stressful. Trained astronauts find the process frightening. Imagine how traumatic it would be for an animal that can't comprehend what's happening. Their bodies are subjected to four times the force of Earth's gravity when leaving the planet but it's their muscles and bones that take the hardest knock. A dog has over a hundred more smaller, thinner bones than a human, and for every month they spend weightless in space, they lose between one and two percent of their bone mass. In zero gravity, our hearts beat slower, so they change shape and lose muscle mass. A dog's heart beats twice as fast as ours, so if slowed to anywhere near a human's heart rate, it could kill them. Like humans, their heads congest with fluid, the back of their eyeballs flatten, and their vision would blur. Then there's solar radiation. Space is full of it, and overexposure could lead to cancer. Touching base on Mars would prove no easier. Imagine landing on a totally new planet, blind. That's a dog in a spacesuit. Dogs wouldn't be able to sniff anything with these suits on, and they rely on their 300 million olfactory receptors to make sense of the world around them. On the bright side, they might enjoy having the ability to jump twice as high on Mars and howling at two moons. Take a look at this footage released by the Aerospace Medical Division. We don't know much about cats in space, but they definitely lose their signature poise in zero gravity. Space may seem limiting for pets, but sending them up there could lead to some life-changing scientific breakthroughs. Scientists are studying radiation and cancer cells in zero gravity to get a better idea of how they behave in our bodies back on Earth. Exposing pets to high levels of radiation would help scientists gather the necessary data without humans having to endure the side effects. Unlike us humans, our pets can't consent to being part of this dangerous mission. Yet it's their sacrifice that made our dreams of missioning to Mars a possibility. If we didn't mess everything up in the first place, perhaps we wouldn't be having this conversation.